What's going on guys, this is Gabriel from Renaissance Gaming, I am back with the Stronghold Military Campaign, and this time I'm going to be playing through mission number 13, Snake Eyes. I find myself in desperate need of reinforcements. That insolent little child has somehow managed to whittle me down to my final county and chosen to ignore my perfectly reasonable request for a truce. My main force is marching half the length of the country to get to you. Hold him off until I arrive. I want to rip him apart personally. Some of my men are nearby. I will send them along to join in the fun. <laughs> The snake's new castle lies in a valley across from his old one. We have already occupied his old fort. Build it up until you are strong enough to lay siege to the snake's last castle to finish him for good. Should you succeed, pull out immediately as we don't have nearly enough men to take on the wolf's main army. Raise some engineers to create the siege weapons you will need. Okay, excellent. So let's begin. So we have control over the snake's old castle here, it looks like. So let me move these guys out of the way to begin. Uh, let me see. Let me start with a nice uh, food production. So let me build some bakeries. And let me build another wheat farm right here. Okay. Alright, now let me focus on my weapon production. Let me start crossbows. Just want to make sure I have my defense set up. Not enough work is available to run this and I want to make sure all these guys are making crossbows instead of just the regular bows. Regular bows are useless to me. Alright, no next I want to build a market in case I need to buy anything. So let me move these guys out of the way and build my market right here. Okay, and let me build some hovels because I don't have any workers. I'll build them right there. Kind of out of the way. And I'm actually going to delete all of this out here because I don't feel like I'll be able to protect it very well. So what I'm going to do is... I'll build, I'll rebuild some dairy farms over here because I'm going to need the dairy farms to work on some tanner workshops. I think three should be enough. And then let me build a wall here. And then let me change the angle so I can get this corner sealed in all right perfect and let me finish the wall up here as well that's gonna be important obviously and just go straight across okay perfect and then I'm gonna build a tower right here in the corner for now And what else do I need? Okay, so I got all that wood coming in. So let me build tanner workshops so I can get leather armor going on. Alright, I don't have gold. Let me set my rations here. Or my taxes, I mean, not my rations. So I'm gonna double up on this. I feel like I got plenty of food. I got a bunch of peasants. So I definitely need to do something about that. Let me build some iron mines. I'm gonna move these guys up here, as well as these crossbowmen, I'll put them up here. So I'm hoping to get all this wood here so I can build more iron mines. 
That should give me a ton of gold just from being able to sell iron. Let me recruit these guys real quick. And I guess I'll slap them up here. And I guess I don't really need this. So let me get rid of that for the extra stone. Gonna go ahead and buy some wood just so I can get that iron production going. It's definitely gonna pay off in the long run. I'll get a ton of gold, especially since this iron deposit is so close to the stockpile. So they'll be able to get iron quickly. Alright, but I need more wood, of course. I don't want to be too low on my wood or else my Fletchers don't have anything to work with and they'll just stand around doing nothing. A message from the pig. <laughs> I'm coming to kill you. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like the pig is going to be attacking. It's not good. Should be prepared, I think. Gonna increase my taxes a little more. And I'm gonna go ahead and build another iron mine now that I have the wood for it. And I can probably fit two more here. So that's what I'll do. Let me see if I can. I already have some iron coming in, so I can sell that. Buy some wood. And just build a couple more iron mines. And that's just gonna give me a ton of gold. gonna double up here but I need more stone for that so we'll see what happens Our food stocks are dwindling, my so my food stocks are dwindling so let me build some more bakeries as soon as I get some wood or actually why wait when I can just buy it Okay, so let me build another hovel. Alright, so there's a ton of archers coming in here. Shouldn't be that much of a problem considering I have the crossbowmen. Should be good to go here. But these macemen could be problematic. Hopefully not. These guys have good access to them. Okay, so I was able to kill those guys. Let me repair this. And then let me sell this iron. And buy some stone. So that I can double up over here. Let 
let me double up here as well. And in this little corner. Oh uh, wow, I didn't even notice. Let me get rid of these taxes so they come back soon. A fair tax system all around. Let me double up this as well. I can't because it's too close to that guy. People are coming to the castle. Okay, so I'm probably going to build another tower right here and start filling it up. But this guy is extremely annoying. He's not going to let me be able to build that wall if I don't kill him so had to do what I had to do there there we go and then let me sell this and buy more stone so I can repair the damage done here and I can build another tower right here now so that'll be good Let me put these macemen up here on the keep so they're out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and build an engineer guild. And start working on my offensive army. Need to put my taxes back up. I forgot to set them after I restored my popularity. So let me sell some of this iron. As you can see, this gave me a ton of money. Let me build some engineers. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make portable shields. How can we help? And that's just gonna help my defenses on the towers. Siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. I'll put one shield per tower and that should really help out. Archers ready! We are on our way. Shield so I'll send that guy up there. I'll send that guy up there and this guy up here. So let me build some more tanners. Because I'm probably going to make macemen to attack the snake with. And that's going to require leather armor as well. I think that should be enough. The granary is full, my lord. Our granary stops. Okay, so let me build another hovel. More wood is needed. I don't have wood, let me buy wood. Not enough gold. Not a message in the pig. You are pig food. My bed will crack your bones. Build another mill because I have a ton of wheat it's starting to back up over there. Okay, let me build a couple more wheat farms just to make sure I can sustain everything. ahead and rebuild these all right I think I'm pretty much set up so I can start working on my offensive army I haven't even shown you guys the castle over here but the snake is chilling out over here so we have to siege this castle and kill him so I think I'm gonna do about 10 15 catapults and 50 macemen and that should be more than enough I think Outlying villages have seen a band of the pig's troops heading this way. A 
Definitely need some more crossbows here so they're not reaching the walls. So let me start recruiting some engineers for my catapult army. So I don't know if I should go for the overkill and do 15 catapults or if I should just, should just do about 10 or so. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to go ahead and build one more hovel so it's faster to recruit. And I'll build a few more bakers just to be able to sustain all that. Wood needed. I need wood, of course. Let me sell some iron and buy wood. Okay, and that should be plenty. Try to put him up here at the front. Shield ready. Shield reciting. Okay, now I have plenty of peasants here. Your grace. Seven engineers. Your grace. Recruits needed, so let me go for about thirty engineers and then. I'll start working on some macemen. I could also be actually making the mace with the iron. That might not be a bad idea, but I actually think I'm just going to buy the mace from the market. I'm getting plenty of gold from just selling the iron as it is, as you can see here. I think what I'm gonna do is build one more tower down there so I don't have to worry about it ever again. Let me do that. See, because I can't kill those guys, which is very annoying. My boy's yours. Arrows ready. Yeah, I can't kill those guys. It's extremely frustrating. So I'm just gonna have to wait for them to actually break in before I can actually shoot them. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna build a tower right there. Your grace. The pigs troops are attacking. Moving to sight. Alright, of course they're not going to move. Oh my god, that is annoying. Because now the new army's 
can rush in here if I don't do anything. So let me send these guys down here. Or else I'm gonna be screwed. Alright, so let me kill these guys. Alright, let me repair the wall quickly before the next army gets here. Okay, let me build that tower right there. And let me fill it up with archers. And let me make a portable shield to put up there. Constructing siege equipment. I halted that so I could recruit a little faster. Ready, sir. And as you can see, look at all these guys in this corner right here. How annoying is that? So that's why I built that tower there, before I continue my offensive army. Your grace. Shield ready. Yeah, so I'm gonna put shield that shield up there, shaping. of course. The granary is full, my, Lord. my granary's full, I guess I'll double ration it. These taxes are unjust. Needed, sire. Fall in. Forward. So as you can see, I definitely needed a tower up here. They still can't shoot at some of them. Which is frustrating. But I think it's because they just piled up over there. Okay, let me close that immediately. Need to buy some stone. Work halted, my lord. This build outlying villages have seen a band of the pig's troops heading this way. They're gonna come straight here again, of course. That should be good. Let me just do six more crossbowmen and then I'm done with the fences and I'm just gonna make my army and go over there and kill them. So how many engineers do I have? 24, let me get six more. Alright, so I have 30 engineers, that's enough for 15 catapults. So let me start building them. I just wonder wherever I can find some space here. Siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing They're pretty expensive, they're 150 a pop, so. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Let me build them down here, I guess. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. 
Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. Constructing siege equipment. All right, I need a little bit more gold. So let me sell that iron. Not enough goods. What needs doing? Constructing siege equipment. Buy some stone so I can build a gatehouse because obviously I'm going to have to get these troops out of my castle. So, build a big gatehouse here. Then I need to continue to sell iron so I can buy mace. So I can make the macemen. I'm actually going to sell these crossbow as well. And let me buy the mace. Increase my taxes. Sell more stuff. Sell some wood. So let me get all these catapults and bring them up here so that they're good to go. Because they take a while to move, so I just want to be ready. What? Yes, boss. We're out of amazement. Yes, boss. It's needed, sire. The pigs. I gotta buy more mace. I might be overdoing it here with my army. I might not need as big of an army as I'm making, but I'd rather do it in one strike than just have to keep sending more and more waves over there. Shouldn't be too bad though. I think once I get these ballista towers down with the catapults, I can pretty much just rush my macemen in because these archers are not going to do any damage. These crossbows might, but we got 50 macemen rushing in. I don't think they'll be able to stop that. So that's the plan. Not enough goods. That's how about 15. Yes, boss. So we got about 35 guys here. Yes, 
Alright, so now I'm actually bottlenecked on the leather armor. I'm out of leather armor. See, so 43, so about seven more. So let me buy some mace, then I'll sell these. I'll buy five of those. I should be good here. All right, so I'm making some uh, groups here. I didn't even notice that. Take out the taxes all the way down. Just so they come back up quickly. Alright, now I'll put it back to minus eight. Sentiment is war towards you, my liege. And actually my food production is kind of screwed. So let me do a minus four and then I'm gonna set my rations to extra rations instead of double rations. Okay, let me put these guys to sleep. Let me delete the church. And let me recruit some guys here. Okay, perfect. So I have 49 guys. I think that's good enough. So I got my two groups here, but I'm actually gonna wait until the pig finishes attacking. Where is he? I never know where he is. Yeah, because if I send my army out now, they'll just get destroyed by the pig's invading army. So I want to make sure I defeat these guys. Alright, so as soon as I kill this next invasion, I'll move on out with my army. Alright, so let me set this to double rations. You know, since I'm waiting, I might as well build a few more macemen. Okay, so again, as soon as this invasion finishes here, then I'll move on out and head over to attack the snake. Hopefully kill him once and for all. So there's a ton of archers here. I don't know if these invasions are getting progressively stronger. I can't tell. I haven't really been paying attention. But... It might be the case that if you don't kill the snake quickly enough, you might just get overwhelmed with a massive invading army. So, I'm gonna move on out quickly here after this. As you can see, that shield really does help. I haven't really lost any archers. And there were a few more over here. I think they already made their way out. All right, they're coming this way. So as soon as I kill them, I'll move on out. Alright, so hopefully these guys will die pretty quickly so I can march out. Okay, perfect. So let me open the gates. 
Ride him along. And let me move my army out. I'm just gonna gather them over there in that forest. And then I'll attack from over here. Hopefully just send my catapults to destroy all that stuff and be good to go. I'm gonna build some more dairy farms. So I can uh I can only fit one more. But with the extra dairy farms I can launch more cows into the enemy. Alright, there we go. Then let me go ahead and close that. I got my army here almost ready. Catapults are really slow, unfortunately. So we have to wait for them. Alright, so I'm just making some crossbows for fun here while I wait for my catapults to march. Should be almost there. Alright, so let, let me move them up. And let me try to destroy these ballista towers. Move these up a little closer because they're out of range. Moving catapult. Preparing. Catapult ready, my lord. Oh, and you can see there's a big problem here. Let me move my macemen up there. Moving catapult. Or my catapults might just be completely destroyed. But doesn't look like they're going for that. I think they're just going straight for the castle here. Which I'm not going to complain. Because they could do a lot more damage to my army here than they can to my castle. Alright, hopefully this tower will go down quickly here. Alright, perfect. Preparing. And destroy that tower. Alright, so I'm out of stone on a lot of these. Stone Let me move these up and throw some cows to these macemen over here and then those guys over there. Preparing carcass. Right, so let me do that. Bam. And that should kill pretty much all of those. Moving catapult. Here comes the cow. Let me cow up uh, these guys. They missed everything over here, so that kind of sucks. So I think I'm about ready to move in with my catapults or my macemen. We'll try our best. Is that wise? Throw a bit of stone over there, see if I can kill a couple macemen. You first. Alright, so let me move in with my macemen. Let me just finish this thing. Oh, so he has a bunch of spike traps here. So I didn't think about that, but he had some spikes there. He actually has a bunch of spikes over here. So I've already lost a good 10 soldiers. Who are you? 
you to challenge me and my But that should be more than enough. Just killing everybody, gonna kill the lady here, she died. So that's an agonizing death by the sounds of it. Sounds like you got stabbed in the face. A message from the snake. Oh, spare me. I wanted only to be your ally. Really, I did. Okay, so definitely overkill my army. I probably could have come in faster, but hey. A message from the snake. Oh, uh, I, I, I think I might just... Uh... So there's a ton of wooden traps here, so you want to be careful for that, I guess. But that's the end of the mission. Victory. So I lost a good amount of troops there, probably mostly to those spike traps. It's kind of cool here, you see your dagger going through the snake's eye patch. If you remember when we killed the rat, we were feasting on his helmet. And now with the snake, we're, we got our dagger going through his eye patch. Good stuff. So we finally killed him once and for all. Once the snake's bloody corpse lies at your feet, you quickly rally your men and make your escape before the wolf can catch you. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the Stronghold series so far. If you enjoy Stronghold, be sure to subscribe to my channel because of course I'm going to be playing through every content of every Stronghold game eventually. And next up we're going to be doing the next part of this campaign and we're going to start dealing with the pig and then the wolf. So thanks again for watching and join me next time.